We're going to perform derivative analysis from data in a table, and here is, is this table. We're going to look for problems from this same table. The first one we're going to call problem number one is uh, if h of x equals g of f of x, find h prime of 4. This one right here, this form right here, tells you when you have the function of something inside of a function, this is a chain rule situation. Okay, and the chain rule is uh, we have h prime of x is going to be, in this case, g prime of f of x times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be f prime of x. And so applying now uh, we're trying to find h prime of 4. Well, that's going to be, uh, I'm going to write it over here to the left a little bit. h prime of 4 is going to be equal to g prime of f of 4. I'm just going to say f of 4, put it right in here times f prime of 4, the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside of, of f of x times the, the derivative, first derivative of what's inside. And so uh, this is going to be equal to g prime of what is f of 4? Well, we go to f of 4, and f of 4 equals 6. So g prime of 6. And then, let's see, we're also we have times f prime of 4, and f prime of 4, we come over to 4, f prime of 4 is going to be negative 2. Well, h prime of 4 is equal to g prime of 6. So here's 6, and g prime of 6 is 4. So we get 4 times negative 2. So our answer is going to be negative 8. So h prime of 4 is equal to negative 8 using a chain rule. All right. I think of the 4, this is probably the most difficult one of the 4 we're going to look at. All right, the next one, estimate uh, g double prime of 6. Well, here we have... Uh, g prime for these different values. To estimate g double prime, we have to go to another, another level that does not exist. But this is really analogous to uh, kind of our AROC situation, average rate of change. Well, we're looking, here we have the g prime as the rate of change of g, but g double prime we can estimate is going to be the average rate of change relative to g prime. So what we have is for 6, we're trying to find, it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to write it like a rock. a rock average rate of change equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. In this case, we're trying to find uh, g double prime of 6, and so we're going to have to use these two values around it to estimate. We could actually use part of the same values, but we're going to say b is equal to 8, and a is equal to 4. So in this case, we have 
um, we'll say just estimate of G double prime of six is equal to, uh, let's see, in this case we're going to have G prime, G prime of eight minus G prime of four all over B minus A, which is going to be eight minus four. So this is equal to G prime of eight is six minus G prime of four, which is 2.5. all over 4. So this is going to be equal to 3.5, is that right? Yes, 0.5 over 4. And if we decimalize this, we're going to get uh, G, now remember it's estimate, estimate of G prime of 6 and this fraction here would simplify to 7 eighths. So this is going to be our estimate of G double prime of 6. So increasing and also increasing at, a, at an increasing rate. Okay, next. If H of X equals F of X times G of X, find H prime of 2. Well, this is going to be a product of two functions. So remember, if we have uh, the, the derivative of uv prime, that's going to be equal to u times v prime plus v times u prime. And so in this instance, we can say that h prime of, of 2 is going to be equal to, we'll say, we'll say that uh, f is the u. So we look for u, we'll see at 2, it's going to be f, so that's going to be 7 times g prime, and g prime is 1 plus g, which is 1, times f prime, which is negative 1. So we're going to h prime of 2 is going to be equal to 7 minus 1. So h prime of 2 is equal to 6. the product rule. Okay, the last one we're going to look at here, if h, if h of x equals f of x over g of x, find h prime of 6. This one here is the quotient rule. Because we have a quotient of 2, we're going to use the quotient rule because we have a quotient of 2 functions. In this case, the uh, g, g of x is our low function, and f of x is our high function. So we'll say g of this case, uh, let's see, we're looking at 6, all right, g of 6 is 10, and g prime of 6 is equal to 4. All right, uh, we have f of 6 is equal to 1, 
and f prime of 6 is equal to negative 3. So this is going to be uh, high, and this will be d high, f negative 3, and low is 10, and d low equals 4. So h prime of 6 is equal to low, in this case low is 10, times the derivative of the high, which is negative 3, minus high, which is 1, times the derivative of the low, which is 4, all over low squared, and that's going to be 10 squared. Okay, h prime, we're just going to continue to simplify here, or start simplifying rather. We're going to have negative 30, 10 times negative 3, minus 4 over 100. And this is going to be equal to negative 34 over 100. And simplifying as much as we can in fraction form, h prime of 6 is going to be equal to negative 17 fiftieths. So that's going to be h prime of 6. So I look for at least a couple, a couple of these problems on the table. Uh, probably see those pretty soon on the test. And thank you for viewing.